Something pretty shocking happening in the Oval Office in a meeting between President Trump and uh, the president of Turkey. According to a GOP source, President Erdogan pulled out an iPad to show a group of Republican senators and a Trump uh, a, senators and Trump a propaganda video portraying the Kurds or ISIS uh, fighting allies negatively. Now, the source says the video was surreal. Let's talk about this and more with Free, Free Zakaria, the host of Free Zakaria GPS. Thank you. This is uh, this is. If, Interesting, to say the least. Axios is the first to report uh, about this propaganda video. They say that it depicted the leader of the primarily Kur Kurdish Syrian Democratic Forces as a terrorist. Why would President Trump allow something like that to be played in the Oval Office? Because President Trump made a massive uh, foreign policy blunder by withdrawing American troops, a small number of American troops that were maintaining the peace in Syria, ceding essentially a third of Syria to, to Turkey, allowing them to invade. They then committed war crimes. Now, he's trying to justify that. He's How do you cover. justify that? Is by saying that the, the Syrian Kurds, who fought with the United States, who, who battled ISIS, who were our infantry in, in defeating the Islamic State, they actually turn out to be terrorists. Now, this has always been Erdogan's position. Um, we have never accepted that. We have always felt that there is a distinction between a lot of these Kurdish groups and you know the guys we were dealing with were not terrorists. Trump has just thrown all that U.S. foreign policy under the bus. It's not just that he threw the Kurdish allies under the bus, but he threw the whole you know, Defense Department that has been cooperating with these people. Now what he's, in a sense, doing is accusing the United States military of having colluded with terrorists. Um, he, he, there's something fascinating about Trump, which is he, he warms to these strongmen, mm -hmm. right, like Erdogan, and then he subcontracts policy to them, and he says, you do whatever you want, and I now agree with you on everything. So when Erdogan says these people are terrorists, even though the United States government has been working with these people, we know they're not terrorists, he adopts that worldview. So a source is saying that um, Republican senators did most of the talking during the meeting with the president occasionally jumping in to play traffic cop. Does that say anything to you? Well, I think he, you know, honestly, I don't think that his knowledge of the, of the area or, or the issues is that, is that detailed. But to me, the, the, the strange thing is here he is selling out American foreign policy. Because it's not, um, it's not just agreeing with Erdogan. It's agreeing with Erdogan that the people the United States government allied with, the United States military fought with, who destroyed the Islamic State, that these people are actually uh, terrorists. Now, he's, he's doing that because he's telling the Republican senators, stop criticizing me for having withdrawn the troops, for having ceded Syria to Erdogan. Uh, the guys we were, you know, we were, the, the guys who I betrayed are actually bad guys. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all about him. It's really trying to, to exculpate him from what was really a, a terrible policy decision that he made. Earlier you mentioned that he sort of allies with, um, with strong men, with dictators, with authoritarian figures. When you look at the attacks this president launches, Kurds are bad when they are literally fighting for their lives, right? He's mocking career public servants like Kent and Taylor for their testimony for you know, corroborating what the whistleblower said. And they're decorated veterans, right? Eight, well, at least Taylor's a decorated veteran. It's almost as if, as if it's sort of opposite, up is down, and you know, everything that we thought was bad was good. It's the opposite of American values. Yeah, but you know, some, sometimes it, it only works to a certain point. I actually thought that the big story out of that first day was really that Americans could take a lot of pride in the, you know, what, what Trump calls the deep state, which is what is really just the professionals in the United States government, that these people were honorable, they were smart, they were well-informed, they were, you know, think about it, this was the acting ambassador to Ukraine, mm -hmm. not the former ambassador, this is, he's currently President Trump's ambassador to Ukraine. This is currently President Trump's deputy uh, assistant secretary of state. And they are responding to a congressional subpoena and they are being truthful and they are saying what, you know, they're calling it like it was and they kept saying, we're not taking sides, we are fact witnesses here. I thought in a way it was an amazing demonstration of the American constitutional system working. Yeah. There are not a lot of other countries where people who are subordinates of the, of the leader would be out there in open congressional testimony saying, he, you know, this is the stuff he did, and yeah, it's, it's not good. We don't like it. It's interesting to see how um, conservative media some played um, Taylor's testimony, because I read it, and I think that I'm right. 
Taylor, when, when, when they were bringing up the conspiracy theories, right, Taylor was just laughing at them like, uh, I don't really see how that makes sense or uh, that has to do with anything. He just sort of laughed it off. His face showed exactly what he was thinking. But I thought his said, best moment was when the, the Republican cons counsel says, he, he, Trump could have been more outlandish, <laughs> right? I mean, it, it was, and Taylor looks at him for a minute and he says, yeah, I guess he could have been more outlandish. Like, it's theoretically possible to imagine a more bizarre foreign policy. Yeah. It's, it's like you look at a, a child at, a, at the table when they say something crazy, and you just go, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep moving on. Fascinating, and then tomorrow we'll have more.